Okay, so yesterday I mentioned that I had a previous video already written and that tomorrow I was going to talk about it. This is not that video. So for those of you who don't know, maybe you missed it, maybe you don't care, maybe the first one was such a mess up that you just couldn't be bothered to watch the second one at all. Last night was the second presidential debate hosted in St. Louis. Okay, and so while it wasn't great, it was definitely better than the first one and way better than the vice presidential debate. Okay, but that's not what I want to talk about. Last night, at the very end of the debate, one member of the audience by the name of Carl Becker asked a very, very interesting question. Okay, so at this point the debate was all but over, and they'd actually gone a couple minutes over the scheduled ending point. Then it came to our attention that one more member of the audience was going to get to ask a question. His name was Carl Becker. Carl asked what may be the greatest debate question of all time. All he asked was if the two presidential candidates could name one thing that they admired about the other candidate. And everyone's mind exploded. The audience was cheering, and I checked Twitter like within five minutes of him asking this question. Everybody was tweeting about it. I tweeted about it. I said, hell yeah, Carl, exclamation point, hashtag debate 2016. Now, initially I was like, okay, so this is gonna be like horrible, but actually it was Kind of amazing. So Anderson Cooper asked Donald Trump if he would like to go first, but rather than that happening, Hillary kind of jumped in and just took over the question, which I thought was an interesting strategy because if it were me personally, I would want to let the other person go so that I had a couple seconds to like think it over and figure out what exactly I was going to say. But Hillary kind of, you know, rolled with it and she didn't do a bad job. So Hillary told Trump that she admired his children. Well, initially I thought that was kind of a crappy answer. It turns out that that's kind of a great answer. Okay, so Hillary told Trump that she admired his children. Okay, so my dad said that as a parent, there's not much more you could ask for than having your children grow up to be good, respected people. And for Hillary to tell Trump that she respects his children could only be interpreted as, Trump, you did a good job. And so in that sense of the matter, it really is a pretty good answer. Then the question bounced over to Trump. And admittedly, I thought this was going to be horrendous. But again, I was super surprised. Trump talked about Hillary's willingness to stand up for herself and fight for something that she believes in. Despite the fact that he did admit he disagrees with her on most of the stuff that she fights for. And then I was sitting there dumbfounded, kind of just staring dumb as I just watched two people who've been at each other's throats for the past 18 months admit that they kind of respect each other to a certain extent. Then I came to another realization. If these two candidates, who I can only describe as rivals, find a way to put that past them, and admit that they actually do, to a certain extent, respect each other, we should all be able to do that. Basically, I just want to say that if these two people can move past their differences and find a way to respect each other, then any of us harboring any ill will towards anybody should be able to do the same. So here's what I want you to think about. Next time you're thinking about how much you hate someone, I want you to take a step back. Yes, admittedly, some people suck way more than these two presidential candidates. Just try and find a way to see something good in that person that you're maybe not the biggest fan of. And I think you might be surprised at the perspective that you gain. But anyway guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something, and I'll see you tomorrow.